And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 Kilogram World Tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium. In the second gymnasium, we've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this semi-final action to kick off. In the red corner, Masaki Noidi taking on in the blue, Geo Wheeler Sakarek. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom, let's get into this. So the breakdown, Noidi is six centimeters taller at 175. He's also a lot younger, 23, he's eight years younger than the 31 year old Thailand champion. Yes, and Gail with a plethora of experience, 139 uh, Windsor's name, 43 KOs. Plethora, I like that word, but I don't, I don't even know if it's applicable there, but I've been wanting to say it for a long time. You've got it out, you found the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Share your dictionary with me sometime, will <laughs> you? Here we go. South Pole versus Orthodox. Oh, and this is the matchup that everyone wants to see here. And stylistically so interesting as well. Gale with, of course, the Muay Thai style, which is adapted so well to K1. Noidi, uh, it's sort of like a hybrid. Dutch style loves to fight in close, but um, makes use of interesting karate style kicking techniques and knees to the th thighs. Well, ooh, beautiful right over the top there, a lead, a lead hook. You know, the thing with, um, with the TIE Fighters, and especially from the Wheel of Sacred Gym, is their fundamentals and basics are going to be so crisp and clean. The game looks so well drilled, so powerful, and um, he's really looking forward. Yeah, when he, when he steps in, he covers so much distance. He's got an amazing left kick, which can go low, mid, or high, and you just won't know, because there's no tell at all. And uh, his left straight as well. Beautiful kick in close. Both yeah. of these guys have been a little bit cagey early on, but letting each other know they're there. I'm loving the feathering of the jab over the top of my ears, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, in Noidi, I mean, Gayo's not even going to have to um, throw strikes to get the respect of his opponents here because he's so good. Um, but yeah, Noidi wisely being a little cautious here in the beginning. He will at some point, though, have to open up. Absolutely, yes, he will. As he gets into this sort of hot shot game with Gale, it's going to be tough for him. Just looking at two different styles right now, and just looking, they're just standing off, feeling each other out. Nice low kick in there. Ooh, powerful. Yeah, that hurts. Oh. Ooh, you see the way he just leaps in and jab Oh, well timed. Oh, well timed. Well but I wouldn't be taunting like that by banging your chin. Just telling the other guy that it hurt. Yep, no, no, he, no, he uh, went out the counter hook there. That was beautiful. So well timed, so well timed. He's obviously just been downloading his opponent all this time. Yes. And just waited for his opportunity, and boom, there it was. And he's electing to go southpaw here, but Noidi can change his stance up as he likes to. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how O'Gara's gonna, gonna adapt to that himself. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you see the way he Picks up the knee and whips the kick around. Very different to the Thai style kick, but still just as effective. Ooh. There's, uh, there's some um, ferocity building here on both sides. Yes. At some point, it's going to yeah. unleash. Ooh, kick there we kick. go. Yep, a little tip, a little tap. Oh, the left hand sneaking over there. For Gail. Well, the stance change seems to be. Um, well, it seems to be okay for now, really, but nothing special coming from it. Both these guys, just being real smart here too, not wasting energy, downloading a little information from their, you know, their opponent, prospective opponents there. Um, you know, taking this first round, taking their time, I would expect we will see the pace up, pace pick up drastically here in the second round. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful counter. Pulled his head off the line and stepped the jab. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a little bit off balance there. It looked worse than what it was, but at the end of the day, you need to catch your man to do that. No, he did. Nope, no, ED, no push over at all. And he is in there with an absolute monster. Absolutely. Be an interesting round. This one. This is. Uh, you can just feel that first round was just kind of like a, a warm up. It was kind of like a starter. Mm. Now here's the main. Here's the main yeah. course. Yeah, is right. We 
got the appetizer there in the first round, round two, here in this semifinal bout. Let's see what happens. I'm expecting steak. That's what I'm expecting from this. Ooh. Some filet mignon. Yeah. And now he's switched his stance back, which is interesting. Um, as he had... Ooh. Ooh. Nice counter right there, and he yeah. switched back, look. Yes, and, and Noidy good with his counter game, just like he was in his previous match. You know, and it doesn't stick out a ton, uh, necessarily, to just the casual fan. But if you watch closely, you'll see that these exchanges, Noidy does a good job of sneaking in the counter without receiving damage. When you see a bruise on your opponent's leg like that, you want to start targeting it. I mean, you want that to be as inflamed and as powerful and as unstable as possible. Yes, yes, yes. Some swelling redness. This leg being inflicted by Noidy's. Noidy's just punishing Loki. If I see Noidy just start, he's holding his arm out there, trying to keep his opponent at bay, but also trying to set up a shot. But you know, if you've got an arm fully extended like that, it's pretty much useless. Mm. If someone gets around it, it just keeps you exposed. Mm. So it's probably not a good idea with someone like Gayo. Yeah, he's got to be careful, especially too, with just the monster um, mid kick that can come underneath it from Gayo. I'd like to see Noe really just start checking out a few more jabs, seeing what opportunities could open up. Really, and this, yeah, right now, you know, Gayo is pulling the trigger a little bit more. And when he had some luck with some counters, but if it's just the counter game, it's going to be hard to sway the judges with that. He's got to you know, let things go, and right now is the point in the fight that he needs to start picking up the pace himself. I think Gary's definitely getting um, the edge here. Um, he's definitely got the work rate and the fundamentals. He's just working on them. Ooh! Well, yeah. fortunate. You're not thinking it's low. Hard to say. The angle wasn't great for us. Either. No, I'd like to see a. I'd like to see a replay. But no, he's a, a monster of a man. So he won't go down unless he legitimately was in pain. Yeah, that um, looks. Uh, and that looks like that was brutal. Here we go. Let's see what we can see. That could yeah. have been a knee straight to the uh, family yeah. jewels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was kind of lifting the leg and kind of up in the air too. And yeah, unfortunately. I don't think it was anything intentional, but it does look like a connection. Don't rub him, count him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, I'm all right. <laughs> Here he is. He's doing his magic jig. He's going to be all right. Ooh, sure, all right. They're going to get it back on. So we've got just over a minute left here in the second round. Up until this point, he had just been a little bit busier, already with good counters. But I think we'll see him pick up the pace here. Yeah, I think now he's been waiting for opportunities a bit too long now. He's got to start creating them. Um, Gayo is just just trying to do exactly that. He's off. Look yeah, at this. Awesome, awesome, nice host there. I know he's with the counter again. But you know, Not enough. Is it enough? Oh. Counter of his own there, Gayo. Oh, he's just chucking on the heat now. Look at no, this. Really needs to move. The balance move. Yeah. He lifts the leg to kick, up to the head, puts it back down, does it again. <laughs> well, if it works, it works. Song, song. Yeah, beautiful technique. I think now he really needs to start thinking out of the box a little bit more here. It's very brave walking forward, but you've got to walk forward with a plan, otherwise you're just a punching bag. Yeah, well, and that's kind of, kind of what's happening here is, even if you know, Gale's not getting through the guard super cleanly, he's just, you know, busy. Much busier, and that's the eye catching for a judge. Well, and the thing is, some of those shots are landing for him. They are, they are, because he's willing yeah. to beat Nauru's guard down to get an opportunity. Nauru's just waiting for him. Nauru is just really great with his pinpoint counter game there, but it's just there's not enough sort of offense from him attached to it, I think. Oh, I'm completely on your side on that one. You've got, you've got Gayo with a great big bruise on his right leg, and Nauru's not capitalizing on it. He's sitting back, he's waiting for an opportunity, and he's got to, he's got to do what Gay is doing, punch through that guard. Yeah, there's a good shot. Look at this. Like he's pulling the head down there, but... Uh, a little bit cheeky. We've seen too much of that tonight, so the refs are going to be hypersensitive to it. She did some good work from the he timing punches and whatnot, but he's just got to get a little bit busier. He doesn't have much time left. Now here in this semi-final, there's one round to go. 
Yeah, I think it's on though early now. I think he knows that coming out into this Silver! round, it's on him to Silver! do something different. Gayo's just got to do more of the same. Yes. Now no, it That's all comes it. down to this moment. And uh, yeah, I mean, this match is huge because it puts you in the final of the tournament. You know, if I was no earlier, I'd, I'd perhaps try stance change again. Um, ooh, referee just not too happy there, but nothing serious. Just using the front kick, keeping some distance. Ooh, yeah. Stepping out with the hook. Okay. He's just walking onto shots and he's getting shaky, look. He's absorbing all that impact, even if it's not clean, it's a lot of impact. Yeah, well, his, he doesn't use a ton of footwork either, so everything that he's absorbing, if he was moving a little bit, it dissipates some of the force, but his feet are real planted, so he is just absorbing all of that on his guard. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a bit of a fan of locking to the ground, because if you just fire backwards off a shot, it looks bad for the judges, but right now, you can't be doing what you're doing either. You know, you've got to have more than just walking forward. Maybe he's blinking quite a bit there. Is his eyes playing up maybe? Oh, and is, ooh, man, there's a nice counter, but it's after six or seven good shots from Gale. It's just not quite enough. Gale yeah. is not going to provide the opportunities for Noe really here. I mean, Noe has got to do more than pot shot counter. He's got to I mean, keep walking forward like this, just presenting the target. Yeah. It's not good. Ooh, he's got a little bit of a like well, one of his counters paid off, but unfortunately, yeah. Gary's still there. He is so good with this. If he could just attach it to a little more offense. He needs to follow up on him. But he's allowing Gary to recover. There he goes. He's got to pick up his range. Oh, those knees. Another one go low there. Oh, I'd like to see the replay on it. I think they were a little... A little higher than the last one, but yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, no, he's definitely in pain. He's not the kind of guy just to just to go down over anything. No, well, he's had just such a rough tournament from that you know, match earlier with all the clinching, and then here, he and Gio kind of getting caught in the clinch again too. It is high, but it could still, if there's an area that's already framed yeah. down there, you know, it's not going to take much to disrupt it. Sure, sure. It looks a little higher than last one to me, though. No, 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 he's really switch it on here. He's got one minute and 15 seconds to close the deal on this thing. Absolutely. He's just got to start chucking now. He's just got to start chucking. Ooh. Gayers. Just got to keep doing what he's doing. A little yeah. bit of distance, let no walk onto mm. it and just uh, shove mm. something behind it. Look at that sharp one, too. Beautiful, beautiful. It doesn't matter where it hits, it's going to look great for the judges. I mean, the thing is, uh, especially with these fighters from Thailand, is once they've got a cup in the lead, they are so good at protecting the team. You're just not going to catch them making any silly errors. Yeah, that's, that, is, that is a fun half notice. There's not much complacency from that part of the world. They, they close the door and keep it shut. Yep. And look at this, he's doing a great job at keeping it shut now. Yeah. Now he's trying that right again, but not much, not much on it. It's just not quite enough, you know, unless he gets the finish with it. Yeah. You, you, you do not knock someone like this out in one shot. You're going to have to put your shots together, and no Ely has failed to do that tonight. Yeah, then. Give us some more wins for punching, but... Maybe he's doing some work in the clinch there too. It's really, yes. you know, they just need to push off and get apart. Both should uh, really be penalized for that. Ooh, mm -hmm. cheeky right counter there. Ooh, and I take it. Wow. Oh, a little bit off of the bell. Really yes. intense match there, but uh, really just easier and just, you know, just leaving an impression the way he needed to. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. He was the tighter, he was the more consistent. Um, the work he did looked like it had more effect than what they really did. They really you know, very clean and clinical in spots, but maybe just spots. Never capitalized on it. He has such a masterful counter game. If he can just be more offensive and flow the two together, it's you know it would be it'd be awesome. But uh, when you're when you're 
waiting so much, not pulling the trigger. Time is going by, and um, yeah, it's not on your side. That's it. That is it. Patience was not a virtue. Gio had to work a little harder for his win here in the second the, uh, semi-final, but he now is moving on to the final. Absolutely. And all that is a grueling fight. He still looks fresh. He still looks fully able and, uh, and not, not damaged. So it is just another day at the office for him. They really, I'm sure he's feeling a little bit disappointed, but when he watches the replay on the tape, I think he'll see that uh, it wasn't his night. He did some great things and he had some just tough plays. Um, but you know, the guys, this can be a great learning experience. This counter game is so awesome and tight. Well, there you have it, the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan. K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium and Second Gymnasium. We will see you next time.